Welcome to my ugly bathroom that needs to be remodeled. Honestly, I feel like it's my very first YouTube video and I'm like filming on my iPhone because this is like a vlog camera. So I would say that the quality is like kind of the same. Oh my gosh, I need some chapstick. Um, but I am in the process of actually moving my filming studio again from my office uh, to my house. So I have not taken everything out of the room that I'm putting it in. So for a little while, we're gonna be on the vlog camera, which is gonna kind of like suck a little bit, but it is what it is. We're not gonna have any cute backdrops, any amazing lighting, any great camera equipment. This is my vlog camera. She's a little, she's a little outdated, but you know, she, she gets the job done. <laughs> uh, today we're gonna be reviewing the ColourPop plush like me collection. So I was not sent the entire collection. I was sent shades that I think the brand thought would work well for my skin tone and look good. I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to go through what I have, the prices and everything. We'll do that real quick. And then we are going to do a tutorial slash review of the entire collection. I have not reviewed a collection of makeup in a very long time. I've only reviewed like little pieces of stuff here and there. So this is kind of exciting and just different for me. It's, I haven't done this in a while. So um, I was actually sitting on hold for health insurance cause mine lapses at the end of the month and I literally am not gonna have health insurance. And I swear, I got an email that was like, hey, here's your encrypted message regarding your health insurance application cause um, open enrollment's not till October. And so I'm like, okay, cool. And then I open it and it's like, I fill out all the information. It's like, okay, enter your validation code that we sent your email here. And I'm like, you never sent me one. So I click that damn little button to get the code sent to me over and over and over again. And it keeps continuing to not be sent to me. So I'm getting frustrated. I was sitting on hold and I was like, you know what I don't need on my Friday afternoon is this shit. I don't need to be sitting on hold, adulting my freaking Friday away. I'm gonna go put some makeup on my face. So I hung that bitch up and now here we are. So, okay. So the entire collection is $125. There are eight shades of lipstick there. And these are actually not called lipstick. These are the Lux Blur. Um, it's supposed to be like a soft matte pigment. So almost maybe looks like um, less, less pigment, just a little wash of pink. We'll see, I've never tried these. Uh, there's eight shades of that. There's the palette. There are four shades of the lip pencil. There are four shades of the blush sticks, and there is a soul shimmering body powder. We are gonna go outside and rub that all over my titties at the end of this. I don't know how it's gonna look. It's got a very pink hue. I'll show it to you guys. Okay, so let's start with the palette. This palette is $18. It's got really, it's like super fuzzy and soft here. This reminds me of Moulin Rouge. This reminds me of my trip to France, my very first trip, and I'm liking it. This is also like super fall for me. This is what it looks like. And you've got just like, I don't know, some cranberry champagne warm kind of tones in here. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. There's so many things I could do this. I'm gonna think, I'm gonna think about it. I, th I feel like I'm gonna wanna do like a smoked out cranberry eye. I don't know though, we'll see. So that is the palette. You know what I feel like with ColourPop palettes? I don't know if I'm alone, but they just remind me of like little storybooks from when I was like a little kid. My watch is like, breathe, bitch. I'm talking. <sighs> Never understands me. These remind me of like, I don't know, just like little books that I would get from Scholastic that I would order and like in the classroom. Like, I don't know why. Am I, am I alone in that? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Next lipstick. So I got four of the eight shades and I have to say these shades are so pretty. They're very similar. Um, I'll show you each one of them individually and then I will show them to you together. This first one is called Cryin and it is just this like really pretty like mauvey brown kind of shade. I'm gonna do a little swatch here. Okay. Next is, this is Band T, and this is like more of like a neutral kind of brown. I'm gonna do this one right next to it. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, it looks really sheer and like just lightweight and like matte. This one is Gen X. 
It's more of a pink tone to it. This one looks really pretty. I'm gonna do this one here. I'm excited to try these out. I think that I'm gonna really like them. They feel like matte, but still feel like they wouldn't make my lips feel like sandpaper. You feel me? This one is Kate. Where can I put this one? Where can we fit it? I'm gonna do it right here. So those are the four shades that I was given. These all look really pretty. The only one that I feel like I probably wouldn't ever wear is this one right here. It, it's just, I don't really wear shades like that, but let's move on. These are the blush sticks. Like I said, there are four shades. Let's see, this one is Skater Boys and it's this nice shade. I'm going to put this down here. That's really pretty. I haven't worn a blush stick in quite a while. This one is called Mall Rat. And let's see, it's a little more like corally, I guess, neutral instead of pink. I'm gonna do this one right next to it. Hopefully you can see with my tattoos. We're gonna, I don't know which one of these I'm gonna wear. I like them both, probably the second one. Yeah, it's less pink. I don't know. I never wear pinks. Maybe I should put a little pink on and get on my comfort zone. We'll see. I got these two lip liners. We've got Good and Plenty. And those candies are so gross. Does anyone like those? Over the liner. So I'm just going. Okay, so let's do Good and Plenty first right here. Oh my gosh, I almost put the wrong side of the cap and <laughs> just smashed it. That would have been bad. This one's over the liner. It's quite a bit darker. Those were like the worst swatch lines I've ever seen in my life. I digress. <laughs> Lastly is the Soul uh, Shimmering Body Powder in Catwalk. I showed this one on my Instagram story the other day. It is super pretty. It has really large chunks of glitter in it. So I wouldn't put this, I don't know if I would put this on my face. I think we're gonna try it though today just to see. It does say that uh, it's body powder. Never mind. I'm not gonna put this on my face. It's probably gonna be too chunky for my old ass skin. But I'm gonna I am definitely going to slather this all over my Titas outside today and see what it looks like. But this looks really pretty. It's like a very it's like orange and pink, like, it just reminds me of Bora Bora or something. I love it. I am, can I zoom you in? I'm like struggling with what to do with my eyes because like there's so many pretty options here. <sighs> okay, so I prepped my eyes with a little bit of concealer. I have not powdered. I'm just gonna leave it like this. So I'm gonna be going in with knee highs right here and I'm gonna be putting this one all over my lid. This is like such a pretty color. And you know what? I have to say, I have been staying away from cranberry color since I graduated. Actually, I didn't graduate. I meant to say graduated middle school. I dropped out of high school. But I used to wear cranberry eyeshadow every single day to school when I was in middle school. And I just have stayed away from it since then because I'm like, I don't need any more cranberry in my life. So today you guys get to see a rare moment where I'm actually putting cranberry makeup on my face. Like this is weird. So, you know, it's the first time for everything. It's been a very long, 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 long time. So it feels like the first time again. <laughs> this seems to have like pretty good pigment. I want to put this on with a wet brush in a minute and see kind of how it looks in comparison to how it's looking now. Because when I did a swatch on my hand, like I'll show you guys, I don't know if you can tell on camera, like the sheen to that. It's just really, really pretty. My finger too. Look at that. I'm curious what makeup brushes you guys have been loving lately. Um, because I, okay, we're done. <laughs> so bad only bad because it needs to be blended out but I have been I have just I don't know makeup brushes haven't been something it seems like people talk about on YouTube anymore 
feel like YouTube has just gone through so many evolutions of like how it is like there used to be tutorials galore and you like you would watch them to like learn how to do specific makeup looks and now it's like I don't know it feels like for the most part it's just a lot of reviews because you guys are already so good at makeup <laughs> I see the stuff you guys tag me and I said this in a recent video but it's true like I see the shit you guys tag me and you guys are like real good at makeup Okay, this is blending out very easily, which is great. I want to show you guys this other one. It's called Throwback. I already have it. Um, yeah, right here. It's so pretty. It's just, oh, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use, but I love that one too. I'm going to go in with velvet one right here and just smoke this out and do this in the crease as well as just like, I guess all over the crease and then smoke it out a bit. Let's see how this blends. I'm focusing the majority of the product out here. Oh, that's really pretty so far. Um, because I tend to look like I have a black eye if I start bringing it in towards this corner of the eye area just like too soon. I'm like making up reasons right now in my head why I need to go to Target tonight <laughs> like while I'm filming. I swear I love Target. Do you ever just like go to Target and spend like 50 bucks on stuff that you just didn't need? Yeah, same. I do in fact have a pretty large Target list, but you know, I keep putting it off because I know that I'm going to buy things that I don't need. I'm just smoking this out, wiping the excess off my brush and coming back to continue smoking. Uh, smoking. So that blended out really well for like a red. So I'm pretty, pretty impressed with that. Like it, it was pretty easy to blend out and sometimes like colors like that can just be like super chalky and like difficult. So these seem like pretty buttery and easy to work with as of right now. Now I'm gonna take that one, what is it, knee highs again, that like cranberry one we've done the lid, and I'm gonna try to apply with more of a flat brush and see if we can't get like a really nice payoff if I wet my brush after I have loaded it on. Okay, where's some setting spray up in this bit? So I'm using the Lawless Glam Guard. It's just to get the brush wet. We're not actually setting it, but you know what I mean. definitely giving more of a dramatic look to it as opposed to this side. I also will say that there hasn't been a lot of fallout with this palette, which has also been nice. With this same brush, I just wiped off everything that was on there. I'm gonna go back. I'm actually gonna go in with this one, um, Girl Band, and just kinda put this on the outer edge to darken it up a little bit in this area. I'm going to put on a little bit of the Jouer, uh, what is this called? Anti-blemish matte primer. Today for foundation, I'm going to quickly put on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and this is in bronze beige. We are leaving for Nashville in a couple days, which I am so freaking excited about. By the time you see this, actually, I'll probably be in Nashville, but I'm just like so stoked. I miss Nashville. I miss the South. I miss my house in Nashville. Um, I'm actually getting a couple of the rooms uh, ready, actually three of the bedrooms ready as guest rooms because I'm going to start renting my house out on VRBO just to offset my mortgage like i want to still be able to visit nashville but i don't want to just pay my full mortgage when i'm only there like every other month so i'm gonna put it up on vrbo pretty soon so you guys will be able to stay in my house i'm gonna be using throwback right here that's that really pretty like one that i swatched on my hand um it's so pretty i'm just kind of gonna use this 
on the inner corner, like, let's see, where's a good place for me to do this? Right here and right here. Wow, that has a lot more pigment than I expected. I don't know how dark I want to go on the lower lash line, so I'm going to pick up a little bit of this one, which is velour, and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line, and then I'm going to think I'm going to put some of the velvet one again out here just to meet it up with that, but I don't really think I want to go super dark on the lower lash line. I'm going in with the velvet one on the outer edge right here just to smoke this out a bit more. Ooh, I love it. Okay, what's next? Let's do, I'm gonna do my eyebrows in a little bit because I'm getting excited playing with makeup. <laughs> so I'm gonna do, oh, which blush do I wanna use? I think I'm gonna use the more corally natural one of the two. This is Mall Rat. it's this one. So I'm actually, because I'm a little uncomfortable putting blush, uh, cream blush on. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do this because I don't know quite how pigmented this is. I haven't used a blush stick in like ages. So I'm gonna take a brush and just kind of lightly get some of it on my brush and then place it. And I haven't powdered my face yet. So that's part of the key for me with when it comes to like cream blushes. It's not a color I would normally pick. This also isn't an eye look I'd normally do. It's very dark, <laughs> but um, it feels fun to do something a little bit different because I have been doing my makeup more on the natural side for the last couple years with a couple fun ones thrown in here and there. Like I have like a really colorful look going up on my animal page because it was inspired by one of my animals. Can you guess which one? Question for you, if I was going to use another color brand, like hair color brand, what would it be? Let me know in the comments, I'm curious. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off some of this blush and I'm just going to lightly melt this further into the skin. And you know what, while I'm at it, I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. Since we're doing cream blush, I'm gonna do a cream contour. This is the Huda Beauty uh, Light Tanner Contour and Bronzer Cream. I really, really like this stuff. It just melts in the skin super, super nicely and it's just like super easy to use. So like even when you're trying to, okay, that was a lot, <laughs> that was a lot. Even when you're trying to contour your schnoz, I was like, a little too much, but this stuff's very forgiving, which is great. It's just easy to work with and it just melts into your skin. Went ahead and did my brows off camera. You guys know what I used, brow blade all the way. I will link in the description box below. Okay, so I was lucky enough to get the most giant box of lashes from Ardell, which I was so excited about because I've been buying Ardell lashes since I was like 19, 18, and like I spent so much money and they just sent me a box full of lashes, so I was very excited. I am choosing these ones. These are called Ardell Professional <clears throat> Remy Lashes, 100% Premium Remy Hair with Invisiband. Let's put these on. Okay. Got the lashes on. I just realized that I didn't put any highlighter on. So let's do that. I'm gonna be using my Broken Becca Opal highlighter. One of you guys tagged me in a post that Smashbox is actually doing or like taking on some of Becca's like most coveted highlight shades like Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> so that's pretty freaking cool. Um, I really need them to take Opal too because I just really love this shade a lot. I haven't heard shit about Smashbox in a really long time. They used to send me PR and they stopped. So I don't know. 
For lips, this is the very last step here. I'm loving these lashes. I'm gonna go in with the Good and Plenty lip liner. This is the lighter, more pink of the two. And overdraw a little bit as usual. My lips are a little bit chapped right now too, so this will be a good way to tell if I like this lipstick. The lipstick I'm using is the Luxe Blur Gen X lipstick. Oh my gosh, it glides on like so nice. That might be my new favorite lipstick. I love the way that applies. It was just like so seamless, so effortless, just like glides on without clumping up a bunch of like product where your lip is dry. Like, I freaking love that. Loving this lipstick. I love how matte it is, but it feels like I just have chapstick on. And it also gives enough color to be able to like overline your lips should you want to, like I do. And it just feels light and matte, but like not drying on my lips. So I'm really liking this. I actually really like this shade too. I typically steer away from pinks and kind of stay with very neutral natural tones because I never like to draw attention to my lips because it's never been something that I love about my face, but I love this lip shade. Um, got out of my comfort zone a little bit. I like it. This eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna have to play with more, but I overall think that it's awesome. I like the arrangement of colors. I feel like there were no wasted pans like I would wear all of these the only one that I may not wear ever is this one because it's a mere it's a weird mix between like beige and gold like no, it's more of a gold like I don't know it's like a mix between like beige and gold and I just don't really wear shades like that if I had a darker skin tone I think that that would look beautiful but overall I really like the assortment of mattes that they did in there and honestly they blended out seamlessly and pretty effortlessly which I was pretty stoked about because I haven't done kind of a dark like look like this in a while and the fact that I the fact that I use like more reds and it still blended out really well, I'm pretty stoked on. So overall, I think this collection is awesome. I love the blush as well. It really blended into the skin nicely. I like the shades that they have. Um, overall, I think this collection is freaking awesome. I'm, I'm like a fan of it. I was really excited to get a collection that wasn't geared towards like five-year-olds also. So I think this collection is a hit and I'm definitely going to keep it and not put it in the giveaway bin. What do you guys think? Um, I would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this ColourPop collection called Plush Like Me. Let me know in the comments below and we will uh, see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go outside. Oh, oh my gosh, no. We have to do the shimmer on my boobs. Okay, let me, okay, we gotta, we gotta unbutton a little bit here. Okay, <sighs> let's go outside. We're gonna have to put the shimmer all over my tatas. Wait, where did it go? Here we go. Let's take her outside and see what she's made of. Gonna load it up on my brush. Oh, it's like the same kind of like deal as the Super Shock Shadows. I feel like you guys can't see. Dude, a nipple is about to pop out. I'm not getting any of the like sheen to it. I'm just getting the glitter. So there's just a bunch of glitter on my boobs, but none of this like super pretty like sheen from it. I'm not super impressed with the body shimmer. It's just like glitter and there's way easier ways to put glitter on. Like I have a puff ball thing of it. You can like spray it on, you can rub it on. Like I feel like that would be a lot easier because I thought that was gonna be like this like really pretty like sheen to it and like um, highlight and it was just glitter. So yeah, not a huge fan of that piece. I feel like that's the only thing in this collection that I didn't actually like, but let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? We will see you in the next video. Bye.